What's up guys, today we're going to be going over the Anarchy changes along with double slug shotguns and we will be going over if they're both still going to be relevant next season and good for boss fights and things like that and just overall how much these two changes will affect the meta going into next season. My code air is 30% off for G Fuel through the 23rd so definitely take advantage of that. Go ahead and click the link in the comments and description. It'll take you over to their store, find something you like and it'll automatically apply my discount code. Anyways, let's go ahead and begin with Anarchy. There's only two changes, but they're pretty significant. The first one is reduce the total reserves from 26 to 16, which is a huge chunk less of ammo. And the second one is reduce damage to bosses by 30%, and that does not include champions. So how will losing 10 ammo affect the weapon overall? Well, I think for most raids, I think it'll be perfectly fine. I don't think you will notice the effect pretty much at all, especially for a lot of boss fights. In most raid boss fights, you're gonna be sticking the boss at max maybe six times per damage phase which will then leave at least 10 ammo for ad clear going into the dps phase and you can even put on one reserve or even two reserve perks to boost that up quite a bit but just with 16 alone i think you'll still be fine in most raid encounters six for the boss 10 left over for ad clear leading up to the boss phase but where this change will be felt the most i think is gonna be in light falls especially gms then just in general play across the board for example, in Nightfalls, every single time you get to a champion, if you stick it twice, you're already limited to only 8 champions, and that isn't even considering the boss fight at the end of the Nightfall. Then if you take into account the fact that you might be missing a champion here and there, have to shoot a third shot, or if you stick a champion twice and they don't die, you gotta restick them again, you know, you're gonna be running out of ammo very quickly, and it's not gonna be as forgiving as it is right now. But you can definitely make it work with some lucky drops or using Aeons to create heavy ammo for your team. So I think you still could make it work, but overall this is gonna be a lot less forgiving than it is right now. Now moving on to the second change, which is minus 30% to bosses. So first looking at what it does right now, pretty much the tick rate lasts for 10 seconds on any given target, shoot two to max it out. And if we add up all the damage right here and divide it by the time, the total damage does right now is 218,000, which means 20.5 thousand DPS. But obviously, versus bosses, it's going to be going down by 30% to these numbers right here, a total of 153,000, then also 14.3,000 DPS. So obviously, that is a huge chunk off the DPS of the Anarchy. But for most of the Anarchy combos, a huge bulk of the actual total DPS is from the other weapons. So even though it is a 30% to Anarchy, it's only 30% to a slight chunk to the total combos DPS. But now the question is, is Wither Horde the better dot DPS weapon to pair with combos in the game? So first looking at how Wither Horde works, you can first stick the target directly, which will take for 5439 on Carl. And that will last for 10 seconds just like Anarchy. But there's much more you can do with Wither Horde on top of that. If you just shoot the ground next to the target, it will also tick at half the tick rate of the direct one at 2720, which obviously isn't that good but the thing is these two tech rates can stack as long as you direct impact the target then hit the floor and go back and forth you can pretty much overlap those two tech rates forever then on top of that every single time you restick the target the impact will do a lot more as long as you're already being hit by it. Wither Horde, as you see right here, now hitting for 15,000. So DPS of Wither Horde is all over the place depending on exactly what you're doing. At the minimum, it's going to be roughly 10,000, all the way up to almost 16,000 if you're going back and forth between sticking them and hitting the floor pretty often. But obviously, the more often you're shooting Wither Horde, that means you're going to be using the other part of the combo less often. So at some point, trying to increase the Wither Horde DPS itself will decrease the other part of the combo's DPS. So at some point, it's probably not worth it. So overall, in most situations, I think Anarchy will still slightly edge out with a horde in terms of DPS. But the second part of this conversation is the ad clear, which we're talking about Anarchy is going to be a lot harder to use more freely with the ammo changes. But on the other hand, with a horde being a special, it's going to be as good as ever. And one with a horde shot can pretty much do what three or four Anarchy can do for ad clear. So with a horde definitely gets the check mark for ad clear. And another thing about Wither Horde is with it being a kinetic weapon, you can not only pair that with, you know, an energy slug, but also heavy weapons, for example, a rocket launcher. And rocket launcher's DPS is usually a little bit higher than slugs, so obviously that combo would probably be a little bit higher overall DPS. And the final thing I want to talk about in this video is going to be double slugs. Pretty much what they change to double slugs is just remove hot swapping from the game. So you no longer can quick swap between the two slug shotguns and pretty much ignore their rate of fire. So now looking at all the different damage numbers on Carl so we can do some DPS testing. First with just a single slug, what will that look like? So just one mag, six shots. Look at that. 
4.139 seconds, which means just under 61,000 DPS plus Anarchy 75,000 DPS. So 75,000 DPS is still a very solid number up there with some of the high scenes in the entire game. So a single slug plus Anarchy will still be pretty good. Now we look at two mags for a single slug. What you can do is pretty much just reload cancel the slug and pretty much not lose out on rate of fire at all. Now taking 9.1 seconds, which means DPS only falls to 54.9 thousand, which leaves the Anarchy combo at 69 thousand. So it didn't drop off that much at all. So is there any benefit to using double slugs without hot swapping? So looking at that, shooting one mag of each to avoid reloading at all. But as we just saw, reloading doesn't really hurt the rate of fire of slugs. So as you see, the rate of fire of 12 shots now is only a little bit lower at just under 9 seconds, which means DPS goes up a few thousand. So overall, adding the second slug doesn't really increase your DPS that much, but what it will do is greatly increase your total damage output, which is going to be very important for raid boss fights where you need that total damage output. And even though the second slug doesn't add that much in terms of DPS, it's going to add a lot more total damage. And the total damage of this full combo is pretty much the exact same as it is now. It's just now going to take a little bit longer than it did before. But you're going to still eventually get all of your ammo out. Which means the same total damage output as it is right now. So for example on Templar where double slugs were by far the meta. I think they still will be because you still need that total damage output. It just might take a little bit longer now. And their DPS numbers aren't that bad at roughly 71,000 with Anarchy. That is pretty much on par with most other things in the game. So it's not like you're going to be losing out DPS wise compared to some other stuff in the game. Most rock launchers, you know, might peak at like 90,000 burst DPS. But over, you know, four, five, six rockets, they're going to be falling down into that 60, 70,000 range. So I think the DPS of slugs plus anarchy, either single slug or double slug, is still very competitive in the game. Then on top of that, their total damage output is still extremely strong. So I don't think they're going to go anywhere in terms of the meta. They're just not going to be, you know, a must pick as they were right now. Which overall is very good that they're still going to be usable. But not necessarily, you know, you got to use this or you're pretty much just wasting your time. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I want to say about those two changes. They should allow for a lot of breathing room for other weapons in the game. Which I think will be good overall. Let me know what you think about these changes. Anyways, the rest of the video will just be some strike gameplay. And before you leave, make sure to check out the G Fuel store in the comments description. Find something you like, and if you're not a huge energy drink person, you can check out their hydration line. And make sure to use code AIR at checkout. If you use my link, it will automatically do that for you. And yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.